Hello again, it's Ingrid with a more scissors tutorial. Don't worry, I'm going to get to the magic scissors. You're going to love that part. But the first thing I want to do is show you how to use the scissors. I don't understand it, but people are not taught how to use the scissors. My grandmother taught me how to use it, but most people, they say, the grown-up says, here, have a scissors, cuts with it, don't cut yourself. But that's really not all that helpful. The motion of a scissors for cutting is not this. The motion is this. You go along a line a little at a time. If you take the scissors and cut it all the way down to the point, it's very hard to make a nice smooth edge. So the way scissors cut, whether you're cutting a straight line or a circle, you cut, not all the way, you open the scissors up and you slide it along the direction you're cutting. And you cut, not all the way, slide it along, cut, slide it along, cut. If you show young people how to do this, they will be happier with scissors. Give it a try and please pass this on. Important information. Now, I spent a lot of the last tutorial talking about the set. It really is the key to cutting most materials. And uh, this one, I purposely, I took a screwdriver and I really dismembered the set. And now it's supposed to not be able to cut thread. It, it just kind of chews at it rather than cut it. But, never mind. I'm going to tighten it up. And this is the way. You can take all the scissors, those crap, those really scissors that frustrate you at home, and you just try this. Just try tightening up the set and watch how it cuts so much easier. I think there's a dull place in part of the scissors. This is an old scissors. But it still will cut thread because it's so nice and tight. So try just tightening up your set. Some need wrenches, some need flathead screwdrivers, whatever it takes. Tighten them up. You'll be doing yourself a favor. Now, I have all kinds of scissors over here. I like long scissors for cutting straight lines. That's a paper scissors. These first scissors are all paper scissors. I like little scissors for cutting circles and details. It's very helpful. Now, this is a pair. Everybody has a right to come up with a lemon now and then. This was made by Fiskars. It was sold, and I love Fiskars. I have lots of Fiskars. I love Fiskars. This one, eh. It was sold to be able to cut heavy-duty stuff. Doesn't. Doesn't cut heavy-duty stuff. I don't know what they were thinking. I just use it for paper now. And now, this is a specialty scissors. This is a wonderful scissors. Also made by a company I talked about last time called Gingers, Gingers, Ginfers, whatever. G-I-N-G-E-R-S. And it is made for leather and leather only. Not only is the set made for leather, but you can loosen the set for thick leather, tighten it up for thin leather. But the way the blades attack each other works for leather. There, there's all kinds of specialty scissors out there. I once had my hands on a poultry scissors that was used in Tyson's chicken factories. Man, that was a beauty. But the whole way the set went at it, it just cut chicken legs like butter. It was amazing. So different kinds of scissors really do different kinds of things. But now for the magic scissors. <laughs> this is a wonderful scissors made by Wiss. And of all things, it's sold in hardware stores, not in fabric stores, not in Michaels, not in craft fairs. It's, it's, it's a hardware scissors. This one I borrowed. This is from the great, wonderful Barry Gordimer. It's brand new. I just took it out of its package. So I've never used it. It's never cut anything. And I thought, he tells me it, when it's new, it cuts fabric. I'm going to give it the ultimate fabric test. I don't know if this is going to work. Look at that. It cuts 
just like my expensive, wonderful fabric suits when it's new. So you could buy this. You could tie a piece of fabric on it and say, that's for fabric only. Don't use it for anything else. And if you have trouble remembering, see the fabric and think of me going, fabric only. OK. So this scissors, if you had a number of them, could cut everything. I have, these are my thick, it's the same scissors, thick foam. I could cut thick foam. like like nothing. But it won't cut fabric. It, it just kind of chews the, it, it won't even, <laughs> it won't even, doesn't even chew the fabric. Because I have taken a wrench and I have adjusted the set till it cuts thick, thick stuff really beautifully. Easy, comfortable handle. This is, and it's not even expensive. This is a great scissors. You, I don't have stock in these. I wish I did. You should all own a couple pairs of these. Now, so that's my thick foam, my, nope, wrong scissors, medium foam, and my, uh, my hand is tired foam. This has a, is spring loaded. It's the same. Everything, it's the same blade, it's the same, uh, you can adjust the tint. And it's really nice when I, my poor old hands are tired, I use this scissors. That's my fatigue scissors. So, but they're all by Wiss, and look at that. It could even be a fabric scissors. As my French grandmother would say, incroyable. Now, there's three other crafty scissors I use, mm -hmm. and they also happen to be Wiss. And they also happen to come from a, a hardware store. These are called in the hardware store utility shears. I cut things with this that I can't even believe I do. I cut eighth inch thick plastic. I cut sole, uh, the kind of leather you use on the bottoms of shoes, sole leather. Do you know how thick and stiff that stuff is? This cuts it, no big deal. There's a material here, it's HD, high density EVA. This cuts it, no big deal, cuts it like crazy. Sometimes, again, if it's cutting something small, I will use these, or something medium. These are great scissors. I really like this angle. That's nice for cutting. You can use the table to help push against because the angle is right for cutting. So this is also a very handy scissors in your toolbox. One last thing about scissors. Every time you all cut Velcro or tape or anything that's sticky, your scissors get sticky. If you don't know about this stuff, this is what I clean scissors with. It's called Goo Gone. You put a little on a rag, that sticky comes right off your scissors. Sometimes when I'm cutting lots of Velcro, let's say I'm putting Velcro up on, along a, uh, a piece of uh, wood or aluminum to hang a curtain on, and I'm cutting lots of pieces, I use the Goo Gone every three, every three cuts. Just wipe that gum off. It's very handy. OK, I did it for today. I hope you like it. Bye. Thank you.